Well, we're certainly looking forward to getting back home and playing in Bryant-Denny Stadium on Saturday night. You know, homecoming is a, a great tradition, and uh, I know it gives everybody, a lot of people uh, who are Alabama folks, an opportunity to come back and, you know, refresh some of the relationships and, you know, traditions that they enjoyed when they were here and um, what they were proud of. And we certainly want to play the game in a way that they can be proud of what we do. Um, you know, I think the big emphasis for the team this year, week is, you know, playing to win. You know, um, you know, there's a difference between playing to win and playing to keep from getting beat. You know, I mean, when you're playing to keep from getting beat, the game, it's not really about winning. It's about being afraid to mess up, you know, painting negative pictures in your mind of bad things that could happen. And that doesn't help you have success. So we want to be positive, correct mistakes, um, have the goal to be, uh, you know, go out and be aggressive and uh, execute the way you're capable of, of executing. Um, capability and reliability to execute under any circumstance. Um, we certainly have the capacity to do that. Uh, we just got to do it with consistency, and that's what we're looking forward, you know, to trying to do. You know, we're really saddened to hear the passing of one of Mississippi State's, you know, players, uh, Sam Westmoreland. Our thoughts and, you know, prayers go out to he, uh, his family, uh, his friends, uh, the Mississippi State, you know, football team. Um, you know, this is, you know, terrible that a young person um, is not going to be able to enjoy a successful life. Um, so, but with that, we're, you know, trying to get ready to play a game. I want to ask you about Emmanuel Forbes, number 13 for Mississippi State, the corner. He's, he's, got, he's leading the league in picks. What kind of a game changer is, is he for that defense? No, he's a really good player. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a playmaker uh, on special teams, too. Uh, guy's a really good cover corner. He's very aggressive. He's very instinctive. He's got really good ball skills. Um, you know, he's a, an outstanding player, no doubt. Let's take with Mississippi State. Just what stands out about their passing game, and how much has Will Rogers kind of grown within that air raid attack? Well, you know, Will Rogers has had a great year last year. He's having an outstanding year this year. Um, you know, they're, they're, they've got a lot of really difficult passing concepts to try to defend. Uh, they've got really good players. They understand what they're doing. Uh, he understands the offense as well as probably the coach um, and goes out there and executes it. And he's very accurate with the ball. He makes quick decisions and judgments. And, um, you know, so this is a very challenging, you know, offensive team. Uh, and I think it probably it's very quarterback oriented. and. You know, him playing well, which he has done all year long, uh, certainly enhances their opportunity to be successful. I know you put a statement out on the Jermaine situation. I was wondering what information are you guys trying to get and has there been any update on that? You know, we'll, we handle, you know, discipline issues, um, you know, internally, um, and that's the way we'll handle this. But, you know, as I said today, you know, when I was asked about the whole, you know, the league has tried to control people, you know, rushing the field. And, um, you know, it's a difficult circumstance for the league. It's a difficult circumstances for the people who are on the field. Um, but, you know, we got to go through those difficult circumstances and still respect other people. And I think that's on us to do that. And that's certainly a lesson, you know, for all of us to learn relative to this. Kind of go into Chase's question with Forbes, but what makes this Mississippi State team so good at forcing turnovers? They lead the SEC in forced turnovers. Right. Well, they they got a lot of ball hawkers. They got, you know, an experienced defensive team. Uh, they play a lot of pressure defense. There's a lot of movement, a lot of stunning, a lot of blitzing, uh, a lot of penetrating. Um, so, and you know, they got some good pass rushers. So, um, but you know, th this. We, we, we continue to try to create an awareness with our team of, about attacking the ball. And, um, you know, sometimes you just got players that do that. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to get players to have confidence that they can tackle, the next guy in can attack the ball. Um, you know, these guys got some guys that got good ball skills in the secondary too, so that always helps. But, um, you know, I, I wish 
we would get more turnovers, take care of the ball better, and we're going to have to do that in this game because um, that'll be a, a, a critical piece to the to having success in the game. Byron Young said that Jahi Modis is like one of the things that he's been really impressed with is his maturity. Um, you know, what about Jahim's maturity have you really seen, you know, on and off the field? Yeah, I think, you know, he's done a really, really good job of, um, you know, being able to stay focused, know what to do. Uh, nothing's, no moment's been too big for him. Uh, and as a freshman, you would never know he's a freshman. Uh, I don't think the other players on the defense look at him as a freshman uh, because of his maturity and the way he goes about his business. And, um, you know, he's done a really good job for us this year. In these three practices, has the team maybe responded to the loss the way that you had hoped, or how have you kind of perceived that? Yeah, I think they're responding. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think, you know, our players, they want to have success. Um, you know, these guys are... You know, I, I've said this before, you know, fans get upset. People get upset when we don't have success. But the players get upset too, all right, because probably more upset than anybody because they work hard uh, and they get frustrated when they don't have success and they want to know why and how they can fix it. And they've worked hard to try to do that. Um, but, you know, I think it goes back to, you know, you've got to have the right mindset, man. And we got to get more positive about how we approach beating the other team, and uh, that's that's something that we're working on this week as well. All right, thank you.